Waters of the Mississippi River as flooding continues to disrupt communities along eastern Iowa and western Illinois. Good evening, everyone. I'm Redrick Terry. Paul is off this week. Let's take a look at the latest numbers across the viewing area. The river in the Quad Cities is now over 20 feet as of Jeez. this evening. Muscatine is approaching 21 feet at last measurement. As of this morning, our entire viewing area along the Mississippi is in major flood stage. The National Weather Service's gauge in Gladstone, Illinois, was the last to report crossing that threshold. The Red Cross is opening a flood shelter for flood April 27th, 2023, 6 1 p.m. noon to 2 and 5 to 7. The city of Savannah has officially signed a disaster declaration as a result of flooding there. City and county leaders so signed just it yesterday gonna, hold afternoon. On. It'll be in effect for seven days. Okay, while well, this is playing in the background, I'm going to tell you what's going on. Quad cities, so Davenport, Bettendorf, Moline, Rock Island, East Moline. We're all going to be in major flood warnings, I guess. Um... Uh, I got another video which I'm I shot just a little bit earlier on my way home uh, The street that I live off of is flooded in one area. It's not supposed to flood in my area, but I Don't know you never know um, So I'm gonna be reporting on this uh, flood that's coming the last time was 2019 and I was uh, doing all kinds of videos on it that back then. I'm going to show you guys uh, where I used to live. Uh, the old house that I lived in before this, it was in a flood-prone area. And I was worried about that when I moved in there. But then my landlord sold the house to his brother. But anyway, I'm going to go down there and show you where they're expecting the flood to be. Uh, my friend says that this is supposed to be the worst flood that we've ever had. 2019 was the worst that we ever had. Um, they're projecting it to be just below that. So I don't know, you know where he got his information. But I'll keep you guys up to date. And, um, and when I go, I'm going to take a video down at the where I used to live. And then uh, show you where they marked off where they think it's going to go. Now, the flood in 2019 flooded the whole... Garden Edition is what they call it, the west end of Davenport, down in the south uh, west side of Davenport, and it's a it's known to flood every single time when it when when there's a flood. Um, the house that I used to live at, when 2019 I took videos of it, uh, yeah, the whole street was flooded and it came up to the little in the sidewalk and then there's a hill and then the house. And it went up to a little bit past the sidewalk, but didn't get to the house. Now, this projection, they put a mark on the telephone pole where they think it's going to be. And supposedly, the whole house is going to be underwater except the roof. It's going to be all the way to the top of the roof is what they're projecting. That seems uh, hard to believe. Let's get back to this report now. A lot of this is live, the by the way, that Not I'm recording especially with what could be lurking around in this water. We'll take a look at the graphics here, and you can see the biggest thing is, Sorry. hey, folks, there's a lot of infrastructure buried in the ground and all around, and so power lines, electrocution is a big risk as the water continues to rise and affect city infrastructure. Also, human and They still will not get a flood wall in this city. They're using those, so what, HESCO uh, barriers, and the last time in 2019, they failed. Uh, so and all they're supposed to hold they doubled them up this time i guess about, uh, rodents and snakes so rodents and snakes uh, also as we take a look at the next map you can see that the reason you got to watch is for exposure that could lead to wound infections and also talking about skin rashes and then gastrointestinal illness tetanitis is also a possibility as well so something that as you're out and about, you do but already downtown we take a look here. You can see on River Drive is, all sorts of trash and is already on River Drive. starting to so flood. He, again, so this is, is River Drive that he's at right here. It's not Let's good, see. But, uh, it's 400 block. Here and watch the water continue to rise. Just in a little bit of time we've been out here. Uh, we've seen the water uh, encroach on our territory, our little dry spot. But 
Unfortunately, we've got some rain in the forecast. Let's take it over. Yeah, we're to supposed to have a lot of rain coming now, which is not good. All right, here's the flood up. Let's see some dry weather here coming up in the next seven days. Yeah, it looks like we've got one more day of dry weather, and then late tomorrow, late Friday, that is. We'll but we're all in major. Back into the area. Major flooding's all the purple. Rain during the weekend, most See the record. There it is, the record. Yeah, here's a look at the we're supposed to be about a foot short of the record, so we'll see what happens with this. Still looking at that 21.6 foot crest. And that should occur sometime uh, Monday. Here's another look at those river levels up and down the Mississippi. And you can see that everyone's in major flooding. And between the 29th of April and the 2nd of May, that looks to be the uh, cresting period for the entire TV6 viewing area. I'll put this on my Facebook page and the KWQC TV6 News Facebook page so you can get a look at these uh, numbers more in detail. And as we move ahead, weather-wise, we've been talking about a beautiful day. Got some sunshine. Yeah, we had some clouds coming in beautiful from the weather. South today it's really slow let me down, mute so this mute this guy again uh so i just finish off now that was pretty much it but i'll keep you guys updated with the flood as it progresses in this area i'll try to go back to some of the areas that i know are flooded some of the areas where you know i used to live and uh we'll just keep you updated on all this So still really good weather. And then I'll I'll just look for the the next video. It's just one little area. I just took a really quick video while I was driving. And I stopped to... Oh, yeah, we got a train derailment here in Iowa, northern Iowa. This was the scene we'll show you here. Cleanup crews were actually evaluating... I should make a new video, but... Train operator BNSF said two of the three locomotives and an unknown number wow. of cars carrying freight of all kinds are reported to be derailed on the bluff side of the Mississippi River. Authorities are reporting four injuries in this derailment. Why does see Wisconsin? It's National Parkinson's Northern Disease Iowa. Awareness Month. Now, all right, of course, Parkinson's, so I guess that was it. Was so, yeah, that was, I just um, heard about that right when I was, right before I made this video about the the flooding. They, they were talking about that. There was a train derailment. I didn't hear about any toxic chemicals or anything from the derailment, but... I don't know. Maybe I'll do another video on that if I find out more. But that was Northern Iowa, way hundreds and hundreds of miles from here for sure. All right. Thanks for watching. God bless.